Let's talk about film. This tutorial will help you begin to understand some basic concepts in the study of film and television. This discussion is designed for junior high students trying to compare written style to film style. I encourage you to take notes and apply these concepts to your viewing of movies and TV shows. These tutorials address four concepts, light, color, framing, and production design. Now we will focus on framing. Ready? Let's go. Framing refers to how much space is in the camera shot. Now serious film students will know that there's much more to it than that, but as we begin at a basic level, let's just consider how much space is in the camera shot, and that means the space around the subject, usually a character or characters. Look at this shot from gravity, for instance. This shows excessive space around the subject. If you know the story, you know that this character is cast adrift in space. So the director uses the camera to show an excessive amount of space around that character. This can create a sense of isolation, helplessness, and loneliness. You might think, well, that makes sense, considering that we are in outer space. But consider this shot from the same film at just around the same time. This shot from gravity shows little space around the subject. What different messages can you understand from this shot to this? This shot seems to connect two characters and show them comfortable together, whereas this shot shows one character isolated and alone. The director can use different amounts of frame space to create different moods or messages. This is certainly a more comfortable shot than this. These two shots show that the same setting can be shown with different feelings. That first is frightening and isolating. The second is comforting. So what does framing do? Well, the space in a frame can create feelings of isolation, or space could create a feeling of freedom. A lack of space could create a feeling of comfort, as we saw before, or a negative feeling of claustrophobia. How would you know? As always, you should just identify the space in the frame and think of what it might do in the story. Do the characters in that space seem comfortable or uncomfortable, happy or unhappy? The amount of space will shift from shot to shot, and the purpose of it will shift from shot to shot as well. Always consider what's happening in the story to understand why the director has used space in that way. Look at this shot from The Outsiders. This shot from The Outsiders creates a sense of freedom from the space of the open outdoors. These characters have just run away from danger, and on the train tracks, they are moving toward a place of freedom. The amount of space around these characters indicates their optimism and their sense of possibility. On the other hand, the director closes space in this shot with the same two characters later on when they have found a place to stay. This shot also creates a sense of comfort, even though the space is constricted. The space brings Ponyboy and Johnny together, and of course these two friends connect clearly in this space. So, a shot of open space indicates freedom, this shot of closed space indicates comfort and friendship. Some final thoughts for you. Pay attention to the space in camera shots. Think about how it creates a mood or some other message for the story. Remember to think about what is happening in the story. That's all for now, and do not forget to think about these concepts as you watch your next movie or TV show. You'll be cinematically literate in no time.